Welcome back to another episode of the Switch Survival Guide. Today we are going to tackle a difficult but very helpful subject, which is how to control your tamed dinosaurs. Now, if you can do this effectively, you can completely overwhelm dinosaurs that you're fighting against, and you really need to learn this in order to do well in the game. But this is actually one of the hardest things to learn, and uh, I have honestly never once seen a good guide on this that really really explains it thoroughly and concisely. So I am going to take a stab at it and do my best to give you a very clear guide on how to use taming groups, how to use whistle commands, and how to control all of your tamed dinosaurs, which will help you do so much better in this game. Now, I will start out, full disclosure, I am recording this on PC so we can get a very nice looking visual, but uh, my controls are really wonky. I'm using a PS4 controller to get as close to the Switch controls as possible, but uh, not all of these whistle commands work quite right for me. They should on your Switch, they work fine on my PS4, so just bear with me. Now, another thing I'll note really quick before we get started is this green beacon here. You're probably curious about that. That just landed in the middle of me recording. But uh, what that is, is that is a loot crate. Now, if you walk up to it, you'll see in gray, it says require survival level 15 to open. So I'm not high enough level to open that. But if I was level 15, I could use the Y or the X button with my fists equipped. And uh, that would actually open up whatever's in there. Usually it's really good tools, armor. Sometimes you'll get like a whole house worth of supplies. It's very helpful. So if you can get those, definitely check them out, see what they are. Sometimes it's really stupid loot too. Anyway, uh, moving on to our tames, we tamed this male and female Dilophosaur and a Lystrosaur, but uh, I want to take the Dilos hunting, and the Lystrosaur I want to leave at home. Now if I use whistle commands right now, it's going to get all of my dinosaurs. So if I hold down the X button, then I can actually modify the ordering group for this female Dilophosaur. And you can see I can either add class to the group or add a creature to a group. Now, I accidentally added her a minute ago, so I'm going to remove her and then hold down X, go to Modify Ordering Settings, Add Creature, and then Add Tame to the group. Sorry to go so fast, it's just those commands will uh, select something if you don't move quickly. It's kind of annoying. So uh, right now, Group 1 has just this female Dilophosaur. If I hold down the minus button, it's going to show my currently selected group, which is nothing, and a green arrow over every dinosaur which is in this group. If you have no group selected, it highlights all of your dinosaurs, so any commands that I give will have that Lystrosaur and both Dilophosaurs in them. Now, I want to select Taming Group 1, and if I hold down the minus and just move my uh, left stick to it, it will select that group. It's not letting me do that, so I'm going to hit A to pull up the menu and plus until it comes to this page. And this actually lists out all of the ordering groups one through 10. And then you can also rename them in the middle. And then on the right hand side, you'll see it shows which creatures are in this group, which is just my female Dilophosaur by herself. Now for me, this is the only way I can select the group. So I'm gonna click check to set this as my active group. And then now when I hold down minus, it's going to show just her in that group. Now once again for you, you can use the stick to select it from that radial menu. It just won't work for me. Now I'm going to hit modify ordering groups and then add the class to group one. And the class means all Dilophosaurs that I own are now in group one. And as you can see here, I've got group one selected and it is only showing both of my Dilophosaurs because they're the only ones in group one. My Lystrosaur is not going to do anything that I tell it now because I've got group one selected. Now remember this because you need to clear your ordering group if you want to tell the Lystrosaur what to do again. So that is very important. We've also got some settings when we hold down the X button, like Disable Victim Collection, which will keep them from eating dinosaurs that I kill. Now, if there's something like a beaver that can harvest trees on Wander, if I disable resource harvesting, it won't pick up those trees. So keep an eye on that if you need to change those settings. There's a couple other settings that we can set for our dinosaurs, but uh, if I hit back, I can go to Behavior, 
and I can enable wandering, which is helpful in some instances. Uh, be careful not to spay her accidentally on options, but from here you can also change their name. If you hit unclaim, she'll go back to being a wild Dilophosaur, and hey, 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 come on, buddy, I'm, I'm trying to make a guide here. Get out of here. Uh, if I enable turret mode, they're going to sit still and spit at things without actually moving from that spot, which is great if you stick them on top of your house where the other dinosaurs can't reach them. They turn into nice little mobile turrets, which we'll do later on. Now, uh, on behavior, I can also change her stance from aggressive, passive, attack my target, neutral. Uh, as you can guess, aggressive means she'll attack everything that comes near, passive means she will attack nothing. Neutral means if I get attacked or one of my dinosaurs gets attacked, she'll fight back against it. And then attack my target means every time I hit attack something with my weapons, she should start attacking it. So I'm trying to select that, and you'll see later, I'm still having a little trouble because the PC is a little wonky, I'm not quite used to it yet, but uh, it should work pretty well for you. And uh, I can also whistle neutral if I want my dinosaurs to not attack anything. That's a very good thing for me to do with that Listrosaur because I don't want that Listrosaur fighting. It's totally useless for that. It's only good for laying eggs and giving a little experience boost. So I just held down the A button and held up to whistle follow all. Or I can say stop all, and that's going to make everything in the currently selected group, which is group one, do whatever I say there. You can see in the distance there's another one of those loot crates dropping big pillar of white light. That's one that I could actually use right now, but I'm not going to go all the way over there to get it. So another very helpful thing you can do is if you hold down the top left bumper, L1, and hit up on the directional pad on the left, it will actually whistle for them to go to that spot. And you can put that even pretty far in the distance, and they'll just follow whatever direction you're telling them. Now be careful, they'll get stuck on things like this guy. Dinosaurs are not as intelligent as Jurassic Park would lead you to believe. I've actually seen one of my Velociraptors stand on a camping fire and nearly died from it. So, yeah, so one of these days I'll put together a compilation of uh, how how many stupid things I've seen Velociraptors do. It's pretty great. So I'm telling them to follow me. They're a little bit slow, but they will keep following me back there. And I'm going to see if I can just hit this guy with my pickaxe and save my spears a little bit of damage. So, um, and they're just standing here like idiots. Now, once again, if you do what I'm saying, it should work on Switch. So if I hold down the top left bumper and hit up on the the d-pad, just like when I can tell them with that green arrow where to go from place to place, the green arrow will tell them to run to that spot. If I aim that at a dinosaur and hit that, at least on the PS4 and should be the Switch, they will actually run, that will turn red, and they will attack that dodo right there. So that's what should be happening when you do this on Switch. Once again, PC's a little wonky, and they're not attacking when I attack that guy either, so... But, uh, we'll just kill this dodo, because we may as well get some more food. So, I promise we'll get this figured out in a second. Now, you'll also notice, when I kill something, they will just run right up and harvest it. Now, not all dinosaurs will get as much material as you can, so sometimes it's good to uh, go to their options and disable harvesting if you want to get more meat. Now, once again, trying to get them to kill this compi, and if you were on the switch and you did that uh, top left bumper and up on the d-pad, they should attack and kill that little compi. So, I will actually figure this out in a second. Now, let's see if I can find a larger target, and uh, hopefully we'll have something that'll last long enough to actually uh, show you what I'm trying to do here. And this turtle should be just perfect. They have a ton of health. So let's just pelt him. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Did you see him bounce out of the water? So I'm gonna pelt him with my slingshot from long range. And once again on the switch, if you hold the top left bumper and then hit up on the D-pad, that should make them have that red arrow and attack the turtle. And then if I aim it at the ground, they'll run away. So I'm going to keep them going back and forth between attacking and running away. And uh, a turtle can do some decent damage. They look cuddly, but they're not. Um, and my little Dilophosaurus could actually easily get killed by this guy if I just leave them fighting him normally. But basically, they're coming around, biting him in the butt and uh, while he's busy with me, and then I get them to run away, and then he doesn't kill them. So this is a really effective 
active tactic with lots of dinosaurs that you can do. And uh, never underestimate a turtle. I've actually seen a turtle kill a Tyrannosaur just because the battle went on so long it was able to finally kill the thing. It's also dangerous because you can forget the turtle is fighting you and uh, one time I went back to my house because I forgot I was still in combat apparently and all of a sudden my wall fell down and there's that angry turtle still fighting me. There we go, we killed him. All right, so, uh, and then the Dilophosaurs ate him, which is going to get us a little bit less hide and meat than we normally would using the pickaxe or hatchet. So I'll probably go into their options with X and disable the loot collection, which is one of those settings I showed you earlier in this video. So, uh, yep, yeah, still not getting this to work on PC quite right, but I'll just go ahead and finish off this dodo while we're here. And they're going to run up and attack it. Of course, I almost killed my own Dilophosaur. So if I hit the Y button, I'm going to open up his inventory and you can see he's actually got his stats flashing because he's got a level up coming and uh, he's also collected a bunch of meat, hide, and keratin. So I can actually, just like leveling myself up, I'm going to give him some health, which is a very good idea for Dilophosaurs. They're really low health and easy to kill. Now if I select meat and hold down on the B button, it's going to drop some more meat into this Dilophosaur. Always remember to make sure your dinos have plenty of food on them. And of course, carnivores need meat and uh, herbivores need berries. So make sure you've always got plenty of food on your dinos because you don't want them to starve to death. That's very sad when that happens happens. So uh, yeah, that's the basics that you need to know for whistle commands, and hopefully this was helpful, and uh, I know this is a really confusing subject, but uh, please let us know in the comments if uh, that made sense. Oh, now they're actually attacking like they're supposed to. And uh, if you have any questions, also let us know. I tr want to try to help explain anything that you guys need to know about, and it'll give me some good ideas for what other guides I can give you, too. Now, I've also got this uh, survival guide series, which uh, you'll see a link to at the end of this video. And if you have any questions, there very well may be a guide already there for exactly what to do. So uh, keep me posted if there's anything else I can do to make your game easier, and I hope you really enjoy your first couple days on the switch and keep an eye out for more guides I will keep launching them hopefully at least one a day for quite a while until we have enough info that you can really enjoy your game so we will see you next time and please like and subscribe to our channel Thanks so much for watching this video from the ARK Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more great guides like this one. ARK is an amazing game, but there is so much to learn before you can really enjoy it. We are dedicated to bringing you high quality guides, tutorials, and let's play videos that are fun, helpful, clean, and suitable for the entire family. There is a tutorial in this series for everything we have done so far in this video. Check out these playlists for more episodes from this series and other guides to help you enjoy your journey on ARC.